I actually grew up in Northern Ontario, and for me, I sort of discovered very young, because of where I grew up, that the idea of North is just that, it's an idea. And it has a lot to do with um, relationality. You know, my North is pretty South to a lot of people. But on the other hand, my North is, is a lot more North than what people in the South think. And, and, and this came to mind when people would talk about Algonquin Park being in northern Ontario. And I, I thought, well, I had to drive about six hours south to go to Algonquin Park. It wasn't really northern Ontario. Hi, my name is Norman Verano, and I'm the curator of contemporary Inuit art at the Canadian Museum of Civilization. I have a variety of projects that I work on. As curator, I'm responsible for the collection of Inuit art here at the museum, and I'm responsible for doing research on the collection and also building the collection for the future, uh, publishing on the collection, creating exhibitions. And of course, working at a museum here allows me to meet a lot of the artists and people um, whose lives are connected to this artwork directly. One of the surprising things about my job is when I talk to artists and uh, they tell me stories of the past and it's amazing how persistent oral history and memory is and it always surprises me the details of history that people can, can think and remember. You know, ideas of geography are very much cultural and that's the aspect that I was most attracted to. I also happen to just love art ever since I was very young, and that I can't explain why. So studying Inuit art was a way to bring together these interests of, of geography, my interest in the north, my interest in the outdoors, and art. This one's called Whalers at Amadjuac Harbor, and it was done um, by an Inuit artist by the name of Simeone Hupapik, who is from the community of Cape Dorset on South Baffin Island. Inuit had had their own traditional place names for all of the Arctic, and what a lot of researchers are doing today, people who work in anthropology and in art history, um, were working with Inuit elders to really put Inuit place names back on the maps. If you like geography, but you also like anthropology, you know, you don't have to pick one or the other completely. There are ways of, of bringing these interests together. And for people that are bright enough and just, just determined enough, um, they find a way of doing it.